And who do we have here today? Hi, I'm Jonathan Mayberry, author of the Rotten Ruins series, the Joe Ledger series, and a writer for Marvel, IDW, and Dark Horse Comics. That's fantastic. And we have, it's fantastic that we have you here today. It's the last, now, they say this is the last time we're going to have you here today. That's not entirely true, is it? Please not say really. it's not. I've, I've got a couple more events in the Philadelphia area. I'm doing Infect Scranton in a couple weeks and a couple of book signings in Exton and a few other places. And then I am moving to San Diego where the weather is sane and there's an ocean. That's, it's got ocean yes, snow no. If I want to see snow, and I really don't see myself wanting to see snow, but if I do, I can drive two hours to be, be in Big Bear, get out of the car, look at the snow, get back in the car and drive back to the beach. <laughs> You've just released the latest of the, and the last of the Rotten Ruin series. Now, now that that story arc has come to a close, where are you headed next? My next series for teens is going to be the Watch Over Me series about a teenager who wants to be a uh, bodyguard and he's uh, solving a mi murder mystery in, in school. Uh, and his best friend is a transgender kid who's going through bullying issues, so he kind of steps in to protect him, and that's how they become friends. So they're going to be the Holmes and Watson of this new series. And uh, the first one, Watch Over Me, comes out in August of uh, 2014 to be followed by Cold, Cold Heart and hopefully uh, a long series. Most excellent. That sounds really, that sounds deep. Wow. That's very it cool. should be fun. First I've heard of this, folks. Now, you're coming up to my hometown in a couple of weeks. Yes. From the 20th to 22nd, I think. Yeah, somewhere in there. It's in Fex Grant. It's a, it's a one day zombie uh, conference, uh, a zombie event. They have a, uh, a marathon uh, for, as a, that's a fundraiser for charity, I think for a library, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and a bunch of other events, panels, signings, lots of zombie goodness. Lots of, are you going to be there for the three days or just the one day? I'll be or? there all, the, all that, that Saturday. I'll be there for the whole day. Okay, very cool. So well, now we know where to find you. Come, come Scranton on, in September. Yep. And, uh, and now, right now we're in Doyle. Are you having any kind of egg regrets about walking yeah. away from Doylestown? It's, it's tough. I'm, I mean, I'm doing my 30th signing here at Doylestown Bookshop. I've launched almost all my books here. Novels, nonfiction books, and graphic novels. And it's, it's tough to leave. It really is. I, I love this crowd. I love, I love the, whole air, uh, the whole writer's community of this area. And uh, I've spent a lot of years trying to build this community and, and help, it, help writers interact with one another and you know, get further in their career. It's going to be very tough to leave. Well, I know we're all going to miss you down here. I've, I've learned a lot. I know for, I've learned a lot from coming to the different uh, conferences and stuff like that. And you're just an inspiration. And it's I just can't get over how approachable you are. You know, here you are, this world famous author guy. Well, as long and as you kiss the glove, we're good. You know? <laughs> Oh my God! You know, unless people know you, they have no idea how funny that is. Yeah. <laughs> well, here, here's the thing about that. Um, when I was a kid, I, I met some authors like Richard Matheson and Ray Bradbury. You know, I was 13, 14, and they they told me that writers need to help other writers. That you know, nobody helps us; we have to help each other. And I took that to heart. And they they said back then that you know, if you help other writers, then the entire publishing industry rises. And uh, also. I learned along the way that writers don't prosper in isolation. We're, we're best when we feed off each other's energy. Mm. So it's kind of like a happy vampirism that we, we, we feed off each other's energy. And it's more fun too. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it actually jazzes me up when one of my, one of my colleagues uh, has a success. It, 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 or one of my students. It makes me feel good. And um, we should all celebrate every success that any writer has. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'm going to let you get back to your, your, your celebration, your farewell party here. And there we go. <laughs> And uh, again, once again, thank you so much for your time and for all you've done for the area and for writing in general. My pleasure and happy writing. Thank you.